that. If you're like a really new OpenSIM user, I think it makes a lot of sense to go through the tutorials and instead of just going through the tutorials with your own problem, actually go through the tutorials with the OpenSIM examples and see if you can get the same thing. I found that very useful in the past because um, uh, sometimes every everything just seems very self-explanatory and it's like, oh, okay, yeah, I know this, I know this, this is what, you're, what, what I'm going to get. But if you go through the tutorials with their examples, sometimes you get a different result and you don't know why. And it's because you forgot to check a box. That's actually very important. And you're not going to notice the difference if you just start modeling your own problem and you're a new OpenSIM user. But if you, if you do that from the start with examples that you know they are working, and I think it's a, it's a really good skill to, to kind of learn what are the, the things that you should pay attention to in your, in your modeling problem. To access the examples and tutorials, go to OpenSIM, that's Stanford.edu. Then click on Find Support, and then click on OpenSIM Documentation. Once in the OpenSIM Documentation page, click on the Examples and Tutorials tab, to access introductory, intermediate, and advanced examples. Uh, I guess the most helpful thing is always to, to start simple. So every time that I try and implement something new in OpenSIM, I find that starting with very simple test cases and then building up from there tends to work better than starting off with the most complex mm -hmm. way possible and then working backwards. be afraid to just ask questions uh, during uh, using forums or if you had the chance to come over to the workshop there are different levels of workshop you can you can apply to and um, the community is a very friendly community so I think if you are like a you know if you're just starting using OpenSIM uh, rather than being stuck in a specific problem just ask using forum or ask um, if sending emails to other kind of users that's that's the first kind of tip to me for all, yeah. So probably the most helpful thing I found is on the, the OpenSIM support website, there's a, a Google search bar, and that will show you <laughs> everywhere on the OpenSIM website that somebody has asked about the question that you're looking to answer. Um, so that's where I start pretty much every time that I'm having a problem. Uh, to access the support page, go to opensim.stanford.edu, then click on Find Support. Then you can search for any term you need help with. For example, if you need help with scripting with MATLAB, you will type the term here and click Search. Any available documentation related to your search term will appear here. Yeah, so my tip to new user would be to use the forum a lot mm -hmm. and try to um, either post questions or search for answers because um, likely other people will have had the same problems and posted about it and the answers will always also be online. To access the forums, go to simtk.org forward slash projects forward slash OpenSIM and then click on forums. So for any new users, it's really try to get in contact with the community of OpenSIM and try to get some help of other people because it's really hard if you're working on your own to um, continue with your own data. Uh, so therefore it's really helpful to have some help from other people and everyone I know within the OpenSIM community is always very helpful to try to help other people as well who would like to start with OpenSIM.